Hello, hello. Good night, guys. How are you today? How's everything? Good night. Good evening. How are you guys? How's everything today? Good. Did you work? Did you do something today? <laughs> okay, guys, do me a favor. Please uh, turn your cameras on. I will really appreciate if you guys can turn your cameras on. That would be really cool. So I can see you guys right there and we can, you know, like work all together. That would be pretty good, actually. All right. So um, let's see. Okay, uh, do you guys have any question or anything uh, you want to ask today? Alguna pregunta, chicos? Anything you want to talk about? No? Yes? Could it be? It's all good? Yo no entiendo nada, prof. <laughs> what do you mean? Ay, no. Yo siento que yo soy la más perdida de todos. No, pero se pregunte. Yo siempre les pregunto, hay preguntas y nadie me dice nada. Pues sí, que me da pena porque veo otros que están más adelantados y yo pues, se va a retrasar el profe por mí. No, 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 no tenga pena por eso. Usted pregunte, yo les he dicho. Igual, si usted tiene preguntas, usted pregunte. No es que nos vayamos a atrasar o esto, o sea, todas las dudas son buenas, o sea, porque las, probablemente alguien más tenga su duda. Pero, pues, si no preguntamos, entonces ahí nos vamos a ir quedando. O sea, yo sé que los videos están en la plataforma y la explicación está en la plataforma también. Pero, igual, cuando ustedes tengan dudas, no tengan pena, pregúntenme. Ok. Uh -huh. Thank yeah. you. Yeah, you're welcome. You're very welcome. Um, any other question or any other comment, guys? Anything you want to say today? Comments, questions? No? No more? Okay. <clears throat> All right, guys. So if we don't have any other question or anything, we will just continue. What was that? Continuar, we're going to continue with the section four, which is the one that we're working at. Uh, yesterday, we were talking about the weather and seasons around the world. Okay, so that's basically what we were talking about. So, um, what are the four seasons that we have, guys? Which are the four seasons? Mm -hmm. Which ones? Cuales? Which ones? Summer. Summer. Uh huh. Winter. Winter. What else? Fall. Uh -huh. Fall. Fall. Cloudy. Mm, no. Cloudy is like something like the weather, but it's not a season. No, it's una. Temporada, no es como, no es una temporada, es más como el clima, que esté como cloudy. Uh -huh. No cloudy, ¿verdad? sino que cloudy. Uh -huh. So, we got summer, winter, fall, and hot. <laughs> spring, spring. Okay, those are the four seasons. Esas son las four seasons. Summer, uh, winter, spring, and fall. So we have four seasons. Now, si hablamos de clima, ¿cómo puede estar el clima? It can be cloudy. What else? Rainy. Raining. Mm -hmm. Sunday. No. How? Cold. Cold or cool. Mm -hmm. Hot. Hot. Warm. Warm. Mm -hmm. What else? 
it's snowing. It's snowing, uh huh. Not in El Salvador, but yes, in other countries, uh huh. What else? Mm -hmm. So we can have uh different. I will say the the the. Uh, I will say like we have the four seasons right there, which we already know, which is summer, winter, uh, spring, and fall. But the weather it can be like different every time. So the weather can be like cold, warm, hot, cloudy, rainy. Um, what else? Warm. You know, uh, it can also be uh, like snowing, like hot and humid, sunny. Mm, yes, it will be something like that. Uh huh. You know, windy and things like that. Okay. So, entonces, al saber esto, en teoría ya podríamos describir el weather. Si usted le preguntan, what's the weather like today? ¿Cómo está el clima ahora? What's the weather like today? Ah, ese ya les dice, it's warm. O les dice, it's raining. It's snowing. It's cold. It's cloudy. Or it's windy. Or, you know, anything you want to say regarding the, um, anything you want to say regarding the, what is it? Regarding the, um, the weather, you know, that's basically what you have to say. Okay, any question, guys? If not, I'm going to take the attendance. But do you have any question before I take the attendance? Mm -hmm. Questions? No? Okay, so I'm going to go and I'm going to take the attendance. Uh, if, you're, if you guys aren't here, just say present or I'm here, okay? So I'm going to start right now. And the first one on the list is uh, Aaron Omar. I'm here. Thank you. Uh, Ada Lisette. Okay. Um, Ana Beatriz. Present. Thank you. Then let's go with Ana Esmeralda. Okay, Ana Noemi. Presente. Mm -hmm. Carlos Vladimir. I'm here, teacher. Thank you. Consuelo del Rosario. I'm here, teacher. Uh, yeah, I got it, got it. Thank you, Carlos. Mm -hmm. Okay, so Consuelo. I think she was here. Yeah, there you are. Okay, um, Elida Maritza. Eh, Flor de María. Present teacher. Thank you. Eh, Jasmine Magdalena. No? Nope. All right. So what about Joana Guadalupe? Present. Thank you so much. Uh, let's go with Jonathan Alexander. I'm here, teacher. Thank you so much. Let's go with Jose Ismael. Present. Thank you. Jose Salvador. I'm here. Okay. Catherine Tatiana. Here. Mm -hmm. Kenny Guadalupe. I'm here. Okay. Marilyn Yvonne. Okay, eh, Marlene Concepcion. Present. Eh, Marvin Omar. Present. Nidia Jamilex. Present. Okay, Nixia Ivin. Present. Omar Luzardo. I'm here. Thank you. Uh, Rebecca Beatriz. Present. Thank you so much. Reina Lisette. Present. Okay. Uh, Ricardo Alfonso. 
Rosario Cristabel. Presente. Okay. Wilber Enrique. I'm here. Thank you. Uh, Yesenia Abigail. Present. And Selena. I'm here. Thank you, Selena. Appreciate that. All right. Cool. All right, guys. I got it right here. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Thank you so much for helping me with the attendance. I appreciate that a lot, guys. So, um, all right. So, before we continue, guys, do you have any question or anything you guys want to say about anything? I don't know. Any question you might have? Sorry about that. I'm just a little tired. Um, so, uh-huh. No questions? No? Okay. So if you guys want to have any question, let me share my screen right here. And so here we go. All right. Okay. Can you see my screen, guys? Yes. Yes? Yeah. Thank you. I appreciate that a lot. All right, so give me just a minute. I'm just moving a few things right here. Okay, got, got everything set up right here. Okay. Okay, pretty good. All right, guys. So, you know, as I was telling you, we were talking uh, yesterday about the, um, you know, the weather, about the seasons, you know, we said that we have four uh four seasons, right? There is a song called Four Seasons, actually. Uh, but okay, so four seasons. Which are the four seasons? Mm -hmm. Once again, which are the four seasons, guys? Mm -hmm. Winter, summer, fall. Uh huh. Continue. Uh huh. I forget in the other. <laughs> okay. Uh yeah, but we actually have four seasons. We got winter, summer, spring, and what else? Fall. Okay. Pretty much, and uh, this is my personal opinion, as I said before. Pretty much, I will say that we have winter and summer here in El Salvador. We might have a spring and fall, but it's not the same as other countries, right? It's, it's not pretty, it's not like the same. I mean, it's not at the level that they have it. Probably it's because of the trees that we have and all that. Okay. And so this is what it is. And if you guys remember, yesterday we were working or we were talking about what? We were talking about the, uh, you know, I'm sorry. Well, no, the last thing we did yesterday was uh, actually listening to the conversation. And it says, it's very cold. And basically, it's a conversation that is talking about, like, the weather, you know, and things like that. So, what I'm going to do right now, guys, it's the following. Let me just open this right here. Um... What I'm going to do right now is the following. I'm going to ask you guys uh, just to uh, listen to the conversation once again uh, so you can listen to the pronunciation. After that, uh, I'm going to ask a couple of you, like volunteers, so you can read the conversation, okay? So, give me just a minute right here. This is this is just loading for now. Okay, it's just loading. Anyways, we will take advantage of the time right here. Let me make it a little big. Okay, so this is what we have. All right. 
Okay, so this is a conversation that we were talking about uh, yesterday. And so this is the one that we are going to uh, listen to today. And this is the one that we are going to practice. So. Hi, everyone. It's cloudy and windy. Put it right here. Oh, no. What's the matter? It's very cold, which illustrates how this top. Okay, so I'm going to play the conversation. Now I want you to listen and try to read at the same time. Listen and listen and read okay topic is use oh no what's the matter it's snowing and it's very cold are you wearing your gloves no they're at home well you're wearing your coat but my coat isn't warm and i'm not wearing boots okay let's take a taxi Thanks, Julie. What I would like for you to do next is to... Practice. Okay, so that's what it is. And I want to ask you guys, do you have a question about the meaning of any word right here? Do you know all the words? Pregunta sobre alguna, el significado de alguna um, palabra? About the meaning of any word or anything like that? No? It's all good? No? ¿Todo bien? It's snowing. Snowing. Okay, no problem. Snowing is when we have a snow. That is nevando, right? Nevando. ¿Han escuchado la canción de Do you want to be a snowman? No. <laughs> no. It doesn't have to be a snowman. No les creo, no les creo. It's frozen. Cabal. Yeah, frozen. <laughs> yeah, it's a little snowman, right? So that's the snowman right there. Un hombre de nieve. O sea, un muñeco de nieve, right? Snowman. Uh-huh. So that's what it is. Uh yeah, that's frozen, you know. That's that's a good movie, actually. All right. So yes, snowing, it's nevando, right? That's what it is. Okay. Uh-huh. Any Wearing, 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 I was saying. That's a good, that's a good uh, question, actually. Wearing, it's uh, the word that we use. I mean, wear is the base form. Es la forma base. Now, wearing is the form in ing, which is, uh, let me just put it right here, base form, which is actually the present continuous. And wearing is a Present continuous form. Okay. Where? Wearing. Okay. Now, what is it? For example, today I'm wearing, I'm wearing a white shirt. Okay. So uh Wilbur is also wearing a white shirt shirt okay so i can say aron omar is wearing a cap okay so what is wearing so que será wearing entonces mm -hmm. usando yes Usar, usando uh -huh. that's exactly what it is keep in mind that we don't say use no decimos us no, decimos, no usamos use para hablar de, para decir de la ropa que estamos usando. No decimos, I'm using a shirt. Uh -uh. We don't say this, okay? We actually, um, yeah, I have like a cross thing. We actually don't say this, okay? So we say, uh, I'm wearing my bad wearing a shirt, for example. I'm wearing a shirt. Yo sé que using significa usando, pero cuando hablamos de clothing, cuando hablamos de ropa, no vamos a usar este verbo using, sino que vamos a usar wearing. 
So wearing es para hablar de, de ropa, ¿ok? De cosas que estamos usando. No vamos a decir, I'm wearing my cell phone. No vamos a decir eso. Yo estoy usando mi teléfono. No, porque si dice eso es que literal se puso el teléfono como ropa, ¿ok? So, entonces, <ríe> wearing solo para ropa, ¿ok? Y using para cualquier otra cosa, objetos, lo que sea. Pero, ojo, wearing solo para ropa. No me va a decir, I'm wearing my computer. Estoy usando mi computadora. O sea, usando de tenerlo puesto. ¿va? No. <ríe> ok, so wearing. Esto es usar de, de ponérselo uno, ¿ok? Y esto es usar de manipular algo, ¿ok? Algún objeto o cosas. Nixia, tell me, what's your question? Mm, prendas ajá, ya, yeah, ropa prendas mm -hmm. like, no, accesorios, así, accesorios accesorios también, uh -huh. like I'm, I'm wearing earrings, for example uh -huh. I'm wearing a necklace okay, ajá uh -huh. with the access, accessories, it can work as well it will be wearing mm -hmm. o sea, todo lo que estemos como usando um, nosotros o portando lo voy a decir lo hacemos wearing. We use wearing with accessories and clothing. Mm -hmm. o, o sea, es que viéndolo así, el, eh, el ING del final es como un ando, algo así. Ah, de hecho, o sea, como... eh, uh -huh. de hecho, ese es el sí. tema al que estamos a punto de entrar ya. <ríe> sí. Eh, but yes, that's what it is. It's about Uh, I will say like uh, the present continuous. O sea, el present continuous eh, va a ser, bueno, es el presente continuo. Es para hablar de cosas que están pasando en el momento. O sea, ahorita, por ejemplo, en este caso hablamos del verbo where. Entonces, el verbo where lo podemos pasar a, al present continuous form y sería wearing. Entonces, de usar vendría a ser Usando. Por ejemplo, eso es lo que es el present continuous. Algo que está pasando en el momento. That is happening right now. So that's what the present continuous is. Oh, one question. Tell me. Tell me, tell me. Este, es, ¿Esto aplica para todos los verbos o hay excepciones a la regla? Eh... Para tenerlos en el present continuous form... Sí, a todos les vamos a agregar ing. Algunos verbos. Hay una excepción por ahí, por ejemplo. Pero, pero a todos les vamos a agregar eso. Por ejemplo, drive. It's in the base form, in simple present. Okay, then I can say driving. But, okay, siempre para hacerlos en la uh, present continuous form, siempre le vamos a agregar ing. O sea, ING. Pero en algunos verbos, por ejemplo, los que terminan en E, vamos a remover esa E y vamos a poner el ING. Por ejemplo, drive, driving. Si ven acá, no dijimos, no, no solo le agregamos la ING así, sino que tuvimos que remover la E. We had to remove the letter E to add ING. So, drive, driving. O sea, esas que son como algunas excepciones a la forma de, al momento de escribir, at the moment when you're writing the verbs. But, pero, sí, a todos les vamos a agregar ing, si es que nosotros los queremos tener en el present continuous form. Mm -hmm. Ok, perfecto. Mm -hmm. Ok, cool. No problem, no problem. All right, so, any other question, guys? No? no? Okay. So I need a few volunteers so you guys can raise your virtual hand so we can practice reading this conversation. Okay, thank you. Okay. All right. So I got Aaron and Joanna. So Aaron, you're going to be a part. And wait a minute. No hemos leído esta, verdad? We haven't read this one, right? I don't remember we did. It's just, uh, oh yeah, I remember why. It's this one. This is the one that we did. But I think yeah. you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Those are the same names, so that's why I got confused, you know? 
Okay, so Aaron, you're going to be Pat, and Joanna, you're going to be Julie. Let's go. Oh, no. What's the matter? It's snowing. I need to be cold. Are you wearing your gloves? No, they are at home. Where you wearing your coat? But my coat isn't warm. And I'm not wearing boots. Okay, let's take a taxi. Thanks, Julie. Okay, pretty good. All right, any other volunteers? Okay, I got Consuelo. Uh -huh. And anyone else? Okay, I got Jonathan Guillem. So, Consuelo, you're going to be Pat, and Jonathan, you are going to be Julie. Let's go, please. Oh, no. What's the matter? It is snowing, and it is very cool. Are you wearing the gloves? No, they are at home. Well, you are, you are wearing the coat. But my coat is not warm. And I am not wearing boots. Okay, let's take a taxi. Thanks. Okay. Thank you so much. Good. All right. So we got that. Anyone else? Any other volunteers? Thank you, guys. Thank you for helping us with that. Okay, got that, Catherine. Uh -huh. So any other volunteer? No? No more volunteers? No les de miedo, que no les de pena. Okay, thank you. Okay, I got Jose and Carlos. Jose Salvador, you're going to be Pat and Carlos Vladimir, you're going to be Julie. Oh, no. What's the matter? It's snowing and it's very cold. Are you wearing your gloves? No, they are from. Well, you're wearing your coat. But my coat isn't warm. And I'm not wearing boots. Okay, let's take a taxi. Thanks, Julie. All right, thank you so much, guys. All right, that's pretty much what it is. Now, we just got to pay attention to the pronunciation of the few things. For example, it's just like, oh, no, what's the matter? Matter, it's like a problem. Like, what's the problem? What's the matter? Okay, same thing. Okay, lo mismo. Problem or matter, same thing. It's snowing. Okay, so it's snowing. We got, we got the verb, I will say, we got snow, right? Which is a base form, right? But then we can have a snowing, right? That means that it's happening right now. Si dices snowing, es porque está happening ahorita, está pasando ahorita en el momento, right? So, that's what it is. Snow, snowing. And then it says, it's very cold, you know, like it's very cold, right? Like a lot of cold. And it says, are you wearing your gloves? This is a question. Are you wearing your gloves, right? Mm -hmm. And then it says, no, they're at home. Well, you're wearing your coat. But my coat isn't, it isn't warm. And I'm not wearing boots. Okay. So regarding the pronunciation, you just have to focus on matter, snowing, gloves. Okay. Uh, wearing right here. And that's it. Those are the things that are uh, the words that I saw you had a problem with. Okay. Now, questions about the conversation, guys? 
No questions? No. Okay, awesome. So if you guys don't have any question, we will just go today with the explanation of the topic right here that as I said, today we are starting with the present continuous. And so here we go. So I'm gonna play the video guys and I need you to listen and pay attention, please. Hi everyone. In this class, you'll learn how to form statements using the present continuous. Let me first give the definition of the present continuous. We use the present continuous whenever you want to talk about an action that is in progress in this particular moment, right now. For example, I'm talking right now. I'm explaining. You're listening to the class right now. Let me write a quick formula in order to understand how to form these statements. Subject plus verb to be plus the verb uh, plus ing plus some kind of complement. As you can see on the chart, we will use the subject of the sentence plus the verb to be plus the verb in its ing form plus some complement in order to express sentences in the present progressive. On the examples, you can see the verb to be is contracted, and that's because when spoken, we typically use contractions. I'm illustrating the chart without the contractions to better understand the topic. So as our examples show, you're wearing shoes. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and write that here. We have the subject, it's you, the verb to be are the verb plus ing wearing plus the complement in this case happens to be shoes we're wearing shoes they're wearing shoes when forming negative statements you will just add not after the verb to be let me give an example on the chart They are not wearing shoes. They are not wearing shoes. If we made the contraction, that will be, they're not wearing shoes. Finally, the conjunctions towards the right-hand side, and and but, are used to give additional information or to contrast an expression. For example, it's snowing and it's very cold. That's given additional information. I'm wearing a coat, but I'm not wearing boots. That's contrasting the information. Now, I would like for you to give some examples of your own. Talk about the activities that you your family, your friends and co-workers are doing now. For example, I'm learning English. My wife is cooking dinner. My boss is working at his office. Give as many examples as you can and share them in our discussion forums. That's contrast and information. Okay, guys. So this is pretty much what the present continuous is, okay? So if we talk about the present continuous, as I said before, that is something that is, uh, that is happening like right now. For example, right now, I'm talking, okay? 
I'm talking. So basically, what you need to make, uh, I would say sentences. It's very easy, actually. Now, it's um, to make affirmative sentences. This is what you need. Necesitan el subject, el verb to be, the verb in ing, plus the complement. Eso es lo que necesitamos para hacer sentences, affirmative sentences, in the present continuous. Okay? So, um, that's what it is. It says, so the subject is you. The verb to be, el verb to be, la forma del verb to be que va con you es are, right? So you are. And then, el verbo que yo quiero usar en ING es wearing, en este caso. So, you are wearing shoes. And shoes is the complement. So I can say, you are wearing boots. You are wearing shorts. You are wearing pajamas. You are wearing a suit. You are wearing a jacket. So you see, and you keep going. You keep going, you keep going. Okay, so you can change that. But if you want to make it negative, si quieren hacerlo negativo, lo único que tienen que agregar es not. ¿A dónde? After the verb to be, después del verbo to be. So for example, we say, they are not wearing shoes. They are not wearing a jacket. They are not wearing shorts. They are not wearing a cap. And you keep going, all right? You keep going, you keep going, and that's basically what it is. So, entonces, acuérdense de esta estructura. This is what you have to follow. This is what you have to know. The structure, subject, verb to be, verb in ing, and a complement. Okay. Como dijéramos que estamos en clase. Okay. Ahorita. Okay. Hagámoslo juntos, hagámoslo juntos. Paso a paso, no nos adelantemos. Paso a paso. ¿Cómo se dice nosotros en English? How do you say nosotros in English? They. They. We. Yes. We. 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 Okay. ¿Qué forma del verbo to be va con we? What form of the verb to be goes we. with we? Are. 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 Okay. Um, in, we will say in. De plus, okay? That's what we are doing right now. This is not present continuous. Este no sería un present continuous. But, porque decimos, nosotros estamos en la clase. Estamos, verb to be, right? But, si queremos decir que estamos uh, estudiando, Si podemos hacerlo. For example, we are studying. Okay? We are studying. Or we can say we are. ¿Qué más estamos haciendo en la clase? Haciendo ahorita. Escribiendo, leyendo, hablando. Mm -hmm. Listening. What? Listening. Listening. Very uh -huh. good. We are listening. To the teacher. We're listening to the teacher. Okay. Now, this one, yes, is present continuous. Look at this, ing. Okay. And that's pretty much how we use it. Vaya, veamos si cumplimos con la regla. Entonces, lo primero nos decía subject. What's the subject here? Yes, we get we. After we. that, we needed the verb to uh. be. Uh huh. Then the verb in ing. Yes, I have listen and with the ing listening and the complement so we got the four elements right we're good okay how can i make this sentence negative mm -hmm. how can we make it negative we are, we we are, are not, not studying we are not studying mm -hmm. what about the next one Mm -hmm. we, are we are not, not listening to, listen to the teacher. We are not listening to the teacher. And that's what it is, guys. So keep in mind as well, and I want to tell you about this. Keep in mind as well that 
we have the conjunctions. Conjunctions are like um, basically to join sentences, okay? So conjunctions like and and but. So those are two conjunctions that we have. So we can say it's a snowing and it's very cold. Entonces las conjunctions en, en caso estas dos nos permiten unir sentences. It's snowing is one sentence. Uh, it's raining, I'm sorry, it's very cold, it's another sentence. So, entonces, las conjunctions nos ayudan a sonar mejor. Porque solo decimos, it's snowing, it's very cold. Mm, no se ve muy bien, es como decir, está lloviendo, está helado. Sería mejor si decimos, está lloviendo, o está nevando, perdón, y está nevado. Oh, perdón, helado, right? Está nevando y está helado. So, ahí nos ayuda la conjunction and, ¿ok? Como para sonar much better, right? It's snowing and it's very cold. But we also have but. También tenemos but. Esto nos ayuda a hacer como un contraste, like a country. For example, I'm wearing a coat, coma, but I'm not wearing boots. Estoy usando un abrigo, pero, but, no estoy usando boots. I'm not wearing boots. That's basically what we do with the conjunctions. We join two sentences. Man, I'm wearing a coat, one sentence. I'm not wearing boots, the other sentence. So we join them together, and but is helping us to join it like that. And that's pretty much what it is. Now you get you have to remember. Acuérdense. Que aquí está la forma no contracted, negative, not contracted, and this is the negative form in the contracted form, okay? Like, she's not, she is not, we are not. Tell me. No, eh, en las conjunciones, en las conjunciones. Conjunctions? Eh, ajá, eh, but es para negativo, para decir algo... ¿En qué, ¿En qué momento se usa a y en qué momento se usa but? Ok, it's what I just said. Um, but is to do contrast. To do contrast. Yeah, it could be, you can use it with negative. Es para hacer contraste entre una oración y la otra. But. Y end es más como para unir las dos ideas. Like the two sentences. Las dos están siendo unidas. I mean, con a con and y but estamos uniendo las dos oraciones pero con but estamos uh, denotando una uh, contrast contraste mm -hmm. we we are noting actually contrast por el que aquí le digo estoy usando un abrigo pero no estoy usando botas mm -hmm. es como un contraste right mm -hmm. y and is like just joining the two ideas it's snowing and It's very cold. Está nevando y está muy helado. That's what it is. Yes. Uh -huh. Yeah, you're welcome. You're welcome. Any other question? Okay. No questions, guys? Are you sure? So, gurus? No hay questions. En esa pregunta, teacher, donde van patinando, dicen que sí, yo no alcanzo a ver si llevan lentes o no. Which one? This one. Ah, uh, it gets uh, shirts and t-shirts. There's any about there. No, I don't think they're wearing sunglasses, no. Sunglasses, no, verdad. No, they are not wearing sunglasses. Mm -hmm. Okay. If you guys don't have any question, let's do something. Let's go right now to the practice. And it says right here. It says, uh, look at the pictures in the input in the, cor uh, I'm sorry, and input the correct answer in the blank. Some sentences will have negative connotations and some positive connotations. For follow the example. My name is Clark. I'm wearing a green suit today. I'm wearing high heels too. Or 
I'm wearing high heels too. Okay, it says instructions, right? That's what it is. And so this is what we have. So I'm gonna give you right now, guys, like five minutes, try to work on this exercise. We are in the exercise 4.11. Es va unos minutos, so I'm gonna give you like five minutes and let's work on this right now, okay? Let's work it out. Uh, you can raise your virtual hand whenever you finish. Pueden levantar su monita virtual cuando termine. And if you finish, y si ya lo hicieron, uh, revisemos ahí. Let's check it. Y levante su manita virtual. Okay, después lo vamos a revisar juntos. Then we're going to check them together. Again, that is exercise 4.4. I'm sorry, 4.11. La primera dice, I wearing a I green, I green suit. Es un traje verde. Uh, no. I'm wearing a green suit. En la suit. primera. Ok. Let's Mi nombre go es... Ajá. Uh -huh. Let's uh -huh. go. My name is Clara. Green. Ajá. Uh -huh. yes, I am wearing a green suit today. Uh -huh. Suit. Ajá. Uh -huh. So this uh -huh. is green. And... This is a suit, right? So, yes. Mm -hmm. Entonces, ahí como tengo que poner. Okay. My name's Claire. I'm wearing a green suit today. You have the subject here. Tenemos ya el subject. Y lo que tenemos que hacer es describir qué es lo que ella está usando, right? Ve acá, por ejemplo, esta ya estaba hecho el ejemplo. I'm wearing high heels. Entonces, acá solo tenemos que completar. Si ya nos dan el subject, según la estructura que acabamos de ver, ¿qué sigue después del subject cuando estamos haciendo oraciones en el present continuous? That would be am, right? Am, I am. Y después, en este caso, que estamos usando, usando uh, wearing, hablando de wearing, sería I am wearing Y acá ya tenemos el complemento. High heels too. Mm -hmm. So that's pretty much. Pero we... va, va el I am eh, va eh, abreviado. O sea, va... Not necessarily. Not necessarily. Okay. Mm -hmm. You can use both. Contracted or not contracted. Mm -hmm. Both of them should be okay. Entonces no sería en I am and I am. Uh, no, right here will be I'm wearing. And oh, sorry, <laughs> I am wearing. Oh, si usted quiere ponerlo contracted, you can put it in the contracted form. I'm wearing high heels. So it's okay. Both ways are okay. Mm -hmm. Nixia, what's your question? You finished? You don't have questions? Good. All right. Jose, no. questions or you finished? Tengo tres malas, teacher. <laughs> ya la vamos a revisar, Omar. Ya la vamos a revisar. We're going to check them right now, okay? We'll see. Tratemos ahí de ver qué fue lo que nos salió mal. ¿Por qué? <laughs> Let's check on that. Okay, guys, two more minutes. Dos minutos más. Two more minutes. Teacher. Tell me. Creo que alcanzamos a hacer la otra, la última tarea que está okay. en la sección 4. This one, the 4.14. Or which one? I'm sorry. Can you say that again? Can you repeat, Kenny, please? Si salimos con el tiempo en terminar la... No sé cómo se pronuncia knowledge check. La knowledge última. check? Yes. No, no. Not today. No. That will be for tomorrow. The 4.14 will be for tomorrow. Mm-hmm. It will okay. be just 
just this one today. Uh -huh. Because we need to make sure, porque si necesito como que, que podamos como comprender esto, como quedar claros en esto, para después pasar a las questions con el present continuous, que sería present continuous, just no questions. Uh -huh. So, pero primero necesitamos asegurarnos que no tengamos dudas sobre las affirmative statements y negative statements. Después vamos a pasar a las present continuous just now questions. So that will be tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Okay. No more questions? No? Okay, so let's go right here. Okay, let's see. Number one, that's going to be for Nixia. Help us, Nixia, please. I think, but I, uh, I am not worried. Arranca? Mm -hmm. But I am not wearing a raincoat. Okay. Now let's assume that it's for this one right here. I don't see this wearing, but it's okay. Uh -huh. I'm not wearing a raincoat. Okay. No, Thank you so much. Now, Catherine, help us with number two, please. Just read all these and complete this part. Give me a moment because I, I have a problem with my internet and my platform is not charging. Oh, okay. Uh, okay. No problem. No problem. So, um, probably Nidia can help us and then you can, you can help us, Catherine. Nidia, can you help us with number two, please? Okay. Uh, number two. It's hot today. Toshi and Nicole are wearing shorts and t shirts. It's very soon, but they are not wearing sunglasses. But they are not wearing sunglasses. But they are wearing not, pardon, but they are not wearing sunglasses. Sunglasses. <laughs> Sunglasses. Sunglasses. Uh-huh. Yes. Good job. All right. Now let's go with number three. And that's going to be for um volunteers. Okay. Uh Catherine, do you want do you want to try now? Repeat the lado, porfa. Yeah, it's right here. Mm -hmm. It's it's very sunny, but they are not wearing sunglasses. Okay, Kathy, help us with number three, please. Okay, Phil is wearing a suit today. He is wearing a brown shirt. Okay, uh, Phil is wearing a suit today. He is, right? Or you can put it contracted. He is wearing uh, a brown shirt. He's wearing a brown shirt. Okay, now let's go with number three. Volunteers for number three. Solo una consulta. Tell me, en tell la, me, tell me. En esta número tres, yo he puesto is wearing, wearing. Uh -huh. Pero me salía mala. Okay, okay. Tiene que ser uh, así, contrastado. Probably it was because of that, but let me see. Da -da -da -da. We have negative connotations. Da -da -da -da. Uh, yeah. Pr mm. Now, actually, it says that you can do it in both forms, you know? So, um, vamos a revisar las dos. Ok, uh, pero sí, en teoría no debería de darle problema si no dejó, no dejó ningún espacio extra y si puso where incorrectamente. Pero vamos a revisar once we're done with this, ok? So no debería de saber si está contracted or not. That shouldn't be a problem. Okay. Yo le puse is waiting y me salió bien. Sí, ok. 
Okay, yeah, yeah. probably there was a double space or something. You know, sometimes happens. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, let's go with number three. That's going to be uh for uh, Jonathan. Help us with number three, please. But he is not a tight boy. Sorry, can you say that again? But he is not a tight a tight boy. But he I... what I'm sorry. So... No le no le pudimos escuchar. Jonathan lo escucho así como bien lejitos. Can you try once again, please? Una vez más, por favor. One more time. But he's not, you said, right? I yeah, think I... But, okay. But he is not wearing a tie today. Good. But he's not wearing a tie today. Yep. All right. So there you have him. It seems to be we don't have a tie for him right there. Okay. Let's continue with number four. Volunteers for number four. He's wearing. Okay. Continue, Joanna. Leala todo, please. Read it all. No solo una parte, todo completo. <laughs> okay. It's cold today, but Katie, Katie isn't wearing a coat. She's wearing a sweatshirt. Gloves and hat. Okay. So she is wearing, he said, she's wearing a sweat shirt, uh, gloves, and a hat. All right. Pretty good. Number four, volunteers. Next one right here. Okay. Kenny, help us, please. And then Ana Beatriz with the last one. Okay. So go with this one, Kenny. She is not wearing boots. Okay. She is not, or we can say she isn't, right? She isn't, también, it could be. She isn't wearing uh, boots, right? And what about number four? Uh, the next one, uh, Ana Beatriz. She is wearing sneakers. She is wearing a sneakers. All right. Now, uh, that's pretty much what we have right here. It looks like we have all correct. Yay. You know, we did it. <laughs> all right. Now, guys, do you have a question about this? Any question sí. about how to form? A... Sí, yes. Tengo una consulta. Las tres malas que tenía no le agregaba el wearing. Uh -huh. eh, no se puede abreviar eso y no poner el wearing mm, lo entiendo mm, uh -huh. no, en este caso no, fíjese porque wearing sería como el, el main verb que, okay. que nos está diciendo la acción entonces, por eso um, porque acá es como decir eh, si solo decimos he is es como él está y luego a brown shirt él está una camisa um, what brown café pero entonces acá sí necesitaríamos el wearing we will need it mm -hmm. okay, okay. Mm -hmm. in this case mm -hmm. we need it esas eran las malas que tenía no le agregaba el wearing el wearing okay 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 mm -hmm. ya yeah. um, como se recuerdan eh, teníamos la estructura right we had the structure eh, y sí, eh, entonces el where nos está dando ahí como la acción, ¿verdad? Es como el main verb, el verbo que nos está dando la acción sería like the subject plus verb to be, okay, plus verb in ing, plus the complement, okay. So, entonces si no agregamos el where nos está haciendo falta un, un um, element, right? So that's why, that's why. So that's what it is. Mm -hmm. Any other question, guys?
No more questions? No? Okay, so, um, hagamos algo. Vaya, mañana, tomorrow, if we're still alive, si aún estamos vivos, <laughs> este, vamos a ver las yes, no question with the present continuous. So, sí o sí tenemos que asegurarnos, chicos, que no tengamos ninguna duda sobre esto, sobre las oraciones afirmativas y negativas que están acá y acá tenemos ejemplos. Entonces, les voy a pedir que traten de revisar esto. Si necesitan ver el video una vez más, háganlo. Pueden hacer un par de ejemplos on your notebook and all that. Y si tienen preguntas, mañana a la primera uh, momento que nos conectemos, yo les puedo ayudar a ver todas las preguntas que tengan. Porque sí, después necesitamos ir con la, eh, um, bueno, las yes, no questions. Y tomorrow vamos a tener una speaking activity por ahí. Entonces, sí tenemos que tener eh, ya como bien seteado esto. O sea, si hay preguntas, ustedes las hacen. No hay ningún problema. Eh, sí, sí que su tarea sería eso. Chequear esto. Like, memorize the structure. That's what it will be. Mm -hmm. So, that's what it is. So, any question, guys? Before I let you go. ¿Alguna pregunta antes de que los deje ir? Before I let you go today. No? No more Como en YouTube solamente pongo para poder estar escuchando esta clase siempre. Eh, bueno, lo digo porque pues trabajando casi que bien imposible uh -huh, uh -huh. estar al 100-100, uh -huh. pero sí lo puedo hacer como por estarlo escuchando. Entonces, ¿cómo era para escucharlo en YouTube? Eh, bueno, tendrían que irse al canal. Eh, yo voy a, voy a pedirle a Andy que les pueda compartir el enlace también ahí en, en, el, en el grupo para que ustedes lo tengan ahí. Igual, si no, se puede venir a la plataforma y puede como poner el video que está aquí en la plataforma también. Y de aquí, de, ah. de hecho, de aquí de la plataforma de una vez lo manda al canal de, de YouTube. Uh -huh. ¿En, en, dónde, ¿En dónde es que tengo que buscar? Perdón, profe. ¿qué? En la plataforma. Eh, ¿Usted tiene acceso a la plataforma? donde, donde Sí, va? tengo acceso a la plataforma. ¿Sí? Vale. Entonces, ahí Entonces, usted, uh -huh. solo se viene acá de, sería el 4.11, ok, o bueno, acá sería el 4.8, que dice Weather and Seasons, y el tema que estamos viendo ahorita sería el 4.10, que es Present Continuous Statements, este de acá, de eso. Y ahí usted le da clic y le va a aparecer el, el vídeo. Y de hecho, de aquí, de una vez, lo puede... Pero, e, pero ese es, yo, yo me refiero al el, que, el, o sea, para poder volver a oír la clase. No, por eso le digo, yo le voy a decir a Andy que les comparta el enlace. Y yo le decía, si usted lo que quiere es ver la explicación del tema de ah, ese sí. tema, puede venir. Sí, en la plataforma sí me puedo, sí puedo okay. eso. Yo me refería para volver a escuchar, estar escuchando la clase, porque creo que es la única forma de, uh -huh. de ver cómo avanza un poquito. Ok, ok, no problem. So I'm going to let Andy know about that, ok? Ok, thank you. All right. So I'll see you tomorrow, guys. Uh, you guys take care and enjoy the rest of your night, okay? So bye-bye, guys. See you tomorrow. Good night. Bye-bye. Take care, guys. Night. Good night.